Hello, hello, hello everyone. I am Melinda Nail Fanatic and this is a tarot donation reading for those who have the sign of Sagittarius playing a role in your birth chart that you're all aware of and you want to investigate for this month. So Sagittarius viewers, uh, this is to pertain to the Taurus full supermoon of November 14th, 2016. And I did uh, create a two-part introduction with information about this full moon, what makes it so special, and what its energies are helping us and blessing us with, as well as I uploaded a, a single video that um, has a general reading for all people living on Earth right now. And so you can watch those too. I recommend before you move forward with watching this video or at least afterwards, but at some point, please uh, watch that because its energies do apply. And so with that, I want to move forward and pull from here. What is the energy that is focused for Sagittarius? And if you saw that, it wanted to come out. Okay. So we have here the two of pentacles. And so Two of Pentacles is about exchange. It's about reciprocation. It's about balance. It's about, in this card, it's so much about two, two people. Uh, two people coming together for a purpose. And I'm feeling that for some of you, this is about you coming together with your um, higher self. Having the experience, which makes sense because this, in, this super moon is highly intuitive. Um, but something is coming together for you in partnership to add balance, to add a greater sense of ease and flow for you. And let me read the Abukra card before I get too ahead of myself. It says, what you will consider quite insignificant at the time will ultimately change your complete outlook on life and cause revision of present plans. Like the insignificance of a single grain of sand prior to becoming a pearl. So something is coming into your life. Could it be a person? Could it be a partnership? Could it be a new source of income? It could be any of that for all of you. And so um, it will play out differently for each of you. And uh, let's pull some more cards to see what other information we can glean. Sagittarius, what Sagittarius needs to know most in regards to the energies for the Taurus full super moon, November 14, 2016. There's a message. Okay. Queen of Swords, hold on to your truth. Do not allow yourself to be um, guided or influenced from outside factors. And also, oh, for some of you, this is going to be about learning more of your own truths, learning truths of yourself, even more, coming into a greater understanding of the self. This is awesome. So look forward to receiving messages, spiritual understanding for yourself. It's going to help you to make swift and steady progress with this eight of wands towards um, things that you, you've been aiming for, which makes sense. That goes here. The revelation of the true self helps you to empower yourself in a greater way. So that, oh, so that the energy that is put out in the universe comes back to you in a much more um, pleasing way than Mommy. is possible Mom. when you are still hiding behind a mask. Yes, grandson. Mom. Hmm. Granny's making a video. Can you just shh for a minute? Let Granny make a video. Okay. Mommy. Maybe. I love you. Mom. Hmm. Na -na -ma. Na -na -ma. So, okay, we have the Seven of Cups, the Five of Wands, and the Eight of Swords. Don't freak out. I know a lot of readers only can read the bad in these cards, but I, what I see here is um, this, what you're manifesting is something, Papa, put it over there, Granny can see, is something that is so full of emotion and your passion for it it's been built with so many different emotions. Um, your passion for it, oh God, that's so perfect, confirmation. Confirmation, I love confirmation. Your passion for it is so strong that you know that although the exact form of it is not clear, it's still in the ethers, um, 
when it manifests, you're going to love it unconditionally because although you don't know its face, it doesn't matter what comes out of it. You know that it's something or someone you're going to love unconditionally. Now, this five of wands is saying, be playful, be playful. Don't take anything too seriously. Everybody's going in different directions right now. So, um, let things be fluid. Let things be in motion because that way you don't get caught up in resistance. And this card here, the eight of swords is saying you're receiving an abundance of information and you need to, uh, listen to your inner self. You know what you know. Okay, take that to consideration and hear the inner voice speak to you. Stand still for a moment. Don't take the action yet. Don't take the action until you got a firm message that says the blockage has been opened. It's been opened. And you're going to know because when that blockage opens, uh, this the major sign for you is going to be this epiphany. This epiphany that is life-changing that allows you to see things from a different perspective and also allows you to shine yourself more purely the way you really are regardless of the perspective of others around because of the fact that um this epiphany has had that much transformation over you some of you are really heavily considering um again partnership marriage wedding uh, business partners. For some of you, this really is about most of you. This is really about somebody you want to be with. And, um, there, for, for those of you, for somebody, this resonates this way in the sense that, um, you're in a partnership and there's been some conflict and you, the person that you're with is been looking at their options, but here you are and maybe you're not officially together. You, you're not willing to look at the options, but you really want to make this person your wife because you know that you can work together well if you could get it together. So for you, you need to reveal some of your truths and stop hiding your intentions. Let your plans be made known because that's how things come together. And they actually come together really swiftly if you do that. Things can come together for you in a very solid and swift way if you choose to take this action. So I hope these messages were helpful for you. And there was a couple of different stories that presented themselves. Thank you so much for viewing this. Love, peace, and happiness to you and yours. And of course, me and mine. Until next time.